Melanie Lee and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review and tutorial on the PMD Microdermabrasion. This product is basically a professional microdermabrasion um, product that you can use at home. So it's basically a professional facial that you can do at home. So far I've used this product about three times so I will give you my full review in just a little bit. To start off with this product, um, it is an intense vacuum sucker technique that it has in here and it exfoliates your skin by doing that and it also has a crystal um, exfoliating stone right here so that also sucks it in and it pulls it onto this and as it's spinning really fast it exfoliates your skin. So, so far on YouTube and on Instagram I have seen videos of people using this and um, it does make your skin red for a little bit but the cool thing I've seen videos of basically the white gunk and your pores and dead skin just getting layered on the inside of this and I thought that was kind of cool because I watch those videos and I think it's really satisfying because like who doesn't think pimple popping videos are fun? Um, I do. So basically, this thing sucks dead skin off and it also clears out your pores by doing that. So because I do have more oily skin, I didn't notice inside the plastic tube that there was a lot of dead skin or gunk from my pores at all like I was expecting it to just because I think my skin is a little bit more clean and I have oily skin so it's kind of hard to get dead um, dry skin off my face um, but I did see a little bit but not as much as I expected so I guess that's good so the vacuum sucking power that this device has leaves you with smoother and radiant and more youthful skin, which is a win. And it does that by basically when it's sucking your skin, it brings up the blood to the surface and that creates more collagen production, which leaves you with all three of those things that I mentioned. So that's kind of a cool thing too. So personally, after using this product, I noticed that my skin was noticeably smoother and softer and that when I put on my makeup the next day, it did go on a lot smoother. I noticed throughout the month while using this product, because you're only supposed to use it once a week, that um, my skin has been so much more clear throughout the month. This product is normally $159. Price-wise, I think it is a good investment to buy this product. If you're someone with more aged skin, I think it could totally help because you can even use it on your hands for wrinkles and age spots and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's kind of neat. It's only a one-time payment rather than going to get a facial every month. That can really add up when you can just do it at home for a cheaper price, only paying once. So I do recommend this product. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial part. First things first, I've already had clean hands and I'm gonna pull up my hair so that way I don't make any messes here. So first thing, I'll take off my makeup and I'm gonna use the Garnier um, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff works amazing. And I'm just gonna put that on little cotton rounds. all my foundation and face makeup with this. Then I go in with witch hazel just to make sure everything is double clean basically before I do this because you really don't want anything on your skin when you're using this product. So that now that I've taken all my makeup off with all those pads, time to move on to the next thing. Um, I always put a little bit of lip balm on just because when I take off my makeup my lips get super dry. So I'm using the Peach Lip Balm by Too Faced. I just have really dry lips, but my skin is oily. Several of the stone head things that you can use. Each one has a different reason of use, and um, they're all maybe a little stronger, maybe a little less abrasive to the skin, uh, but it does tell you in the instructions to start off with the kind of training one, which is this little white one here. Also came with some body stones that you can use, let's say on your elbows or your nose, nose, not your nose, um, your knees, if you have really dry elbows or knees. I have not used that yet, so I don't really know if it helps in that area as much. And it also came with a larger uh, plastic head space. 
Um, this one has the larger circle, that way you can use this for um, your body parts. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the blue stone. Now to be honest, I don't have the paper with me, so I really don't remember what the color means or what it's supposed to do, but I know it's for your face. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, so anyways, before you plug it in to be safe, unlike I was, that's why you don't do that. You wanna make sure that the little stone thing is fully placed all the way on this uh, little metal piece in there until you hear it click in, because that can be kind of dangerous if it's not. Once that's clicked in, you wanna basically ensure that this plastic piece is fully screwed on. Once that's all good, make sure this thing is off. <laughs> And then go ahead and plug it in and twist it, that way it can't pull out. I suggest that you should test this product on your arm or your hand before using this product. That way you can um, kind of know what you're getting into before you put something this scary on your face. You turn it on and it starts spinning really fast and it creates this suction thing. So I'm just going to show you it on my arm. Does emphasize use a uh, device quickly and across skin do not hover over anything and only pass over one area once don't go over twice um, because it can literally give you hickey like bruises on your face and no one wants to walk around with that so I'm gonna start with my chin and going this way it also kind of mentions to pull your skin taut that way you're completely getting everything out of your skin. Here you have all of your hair pulled out of the way because you do not want your hair getting stuck in here and twisted up in this machine. That can be kind of scary. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going up my nose. And the cool thing too that you can feel about this product instantly is that right here, normally I can feel the little scratchiness of the blackheads, but as soon as you go over it, it pretty much sucks them all out, which is really nice. Then I'm gonna be starting from right here and making basically big circles around my face. So after one use, I don't know if you can tell that my skin is just a tad bit red. That's kind of normal after using this product. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid and show you guys kind of what is in here. And to be honest, it's a little gross. If you can see directly on this stone piece, it did get some gunk on it that's kind of more orangey. Pretty much like the color of my makeup, but I did deeply get everything off. But inside there is definitely some dead skin in there so I'm going to show you again what this looks like when you do it on your hand and just how much it really sucks your skin so after using this PMD microdermabrasion product it is really good for helping your skin to basically better absorb anything that you put on it or penetrate into your skin um, so I'm going to be using the Pacifica Super Flower Oil. And to be honest, this one is my favorite oil I've ever used. It smells so good. Put up into my palms. And then lightly and gently put it on to my skin. And it feels so soft. Um, that's the main noticeable thing I've noticed about this product is just the texture of my skin. Just as a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. This is my pure 
unbiased opinion about this product. Um, I do recommend it. The only thing that's a little iffy is the price, but I do understand it is worth it if you don't plan on spending tons amount of money on going to a dermatologist. So I guess it saves money in that regard for you. Um, so it is kind of nice to just have it at home and have your own at home spa day like I do, which is once a week. Um, yeah, so if you guys did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.